Welcome to Film Shapes, the podcast. Yeah, which of us man? IP time. I'm gonna cross that to you. Hi, everybody. It's uh, it's a Sunday night. Strange time to be doing the podcast, isn't it? Um, but here we are again with Rolly. Hi. And I was going to say it's probably not a Sunday night for the person listening, so it doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, that's true. Um, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, hi, and Merv. Hi. Evening. Evening. Good. Today we're talking about Parasite, <clears throat> Korean film from Bong Joon Ho. Let me just get this right. Um, it won the Palm Door this year. It's a dark satire about class differences in South Korea. Now, it kind of follows a poor family that slowly ingratiates itself into an upper class household with some pretty shocking results. Now, guys, um, it's been about a week or so since we've seen this. Mm. And actually, yeah. I appreciated that week because it allowed me to think of this film in terms of, yeah, did I think about it during the week? And I've got to say I did. Yeah, it was still on my mind. It got, I had that distance on it, but it was still mm, it stayed, it stayed churning through my brain. Bit, yeah. Do you think, though, do you think it's because you know you're going to do a podcast about it or just otherwise no. it would have? No, yeah, it's okay. not. Right. Other films just disappear. Well, what was that last one we did? Yeah, I was going to go through my <laughs> I can't notes. even remember. It was X-Men, wasn't it? X-Men, yeah, that sort of rapidly disappeared from my mind. There was nothing there worth keeping. Yeah. No. Really. Yeah, how about you, Merv? Did it linger? Yeah, it did. No, I mm. um, particularly as I knew nothing about this film going in, mm. and after about 25 minutes I went, huh, this is not a horror film. Yeah, wh- why, actually- did, wh- why did you think it was – I wanted to ask you this. Why did you um, think that was going to be a horror film? I don't know. I think partially the title. Mm, yep. Mm. Other few Korean films I've seen have generally been a bit horror-y. Yeah. And I think the poster's got a bit of a yeah. bit of a vibe to it, you know, an okay. off-settling vibe. Creepy-looking vibe, yeah. Th- There's a bit of an identity, <clears throat> ongoing identity issues with his uh, films. Mm-hmm. Not that they're issues, but they're often hard to classify, aren't they? I what think was so, it, uh, yeah. Snowpiercer, which I, I didn't like as a film. I thought that was yeah. know, just silly. Right. But... <laughs> Yeah. But uh, this was very different. And did you see Okja? It's another no. one of his films. That was so about pretty. The pig? Yeah, the massive. No, I pig. tried. Yeah, that wasn't great. It was a bit silly as well. I suppose you'd say. Mm. Snowpiercer, I liked more than you. I think. Yeah, probably. Mm. He's also that be hard. <laughs> he's also <laughs> done a a film about ten ten or so years <clears throat> ago called The Host, which is interesting. The Host and the Parasite. Mm, they sort of a symbiosis well, there. Well, so I've seen that. Oh, you have seen that one. Yeah, that's the one about the weird creature and the yes. rib. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, there you go. So, so he's, yeah. he's delving in sci-fi, fantasy mm. kind of worlds normally. So this is quite different from that. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Mm. There's, I mean, it's a bit fantastical, but yeah. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have to spoil it. There's, a, there's too much hiding in this film to not talk about all of it, right? So yeah. Um, mm. Now, what do I want to? I wanted to ask you guys about some things. Um, uh, oh yeah, water. Yeah, there's yeah. there's water. <laughs> there is water. <laughs> water is that you were talking before about smell, right? The yes. smell of the film. The smell. We probably should talk a little bit about what this is about because it's so. It's not a an end game. It's not a big film, right? People aren't going to know what we're talking about here. No, but um, it's quite a complex. That it's sort of. There's a yeah. lot. There's a lot in there. There's a lot crammed in there. What what, what kind? What's what kind of film is this then? If it's not his usual horror style um, odd, oddity, I feel it's kind of like a drama comedy. You know, the old mm. dr- dramedy it starts as, and then there are hol- horror elements that come in. Horrific, rather yeah, than horrific horror. Um, yeah, uh, I, sci-fi. I think we can leave that out. Yes, there's no, yeah. there's no sci-fi <laughs> no, going on. No, which is which is helpful because it's almost uh, you almost need to know what to leave out yeah. When, yeah. when describing this film. This is as important as what you put in. But it, yeah. Has a similar theme too, Snowpiercer, and yeah. that is that's you know the class. story of class mm. and where you sit within the class structure, and yeah. trying and can you move within it? Yes, and, and uh, that, it's, yeah, mm. and, and Snowpiercer, it's a bloody long yeah. train, right? Yeah, mm. and I think so. With the director, I feel like this film and the class thing, he's he he tends. I haven't seen the other films so much, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, violence is a kind of storytelling tool for him. It certainly was in Snowpiercer, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that so with the other films as well? Uh, Stanley's the host. Is it? Okay. Don't, yeah. I'm going to watch it another time. But um, Okja was a bit more 
not not so much violence as a bit of sort of I don't know threat maybe I, I don't remember anything super violent as in mm. as in um, Parasite. You didn't get that far in Oxford, did you? No, I, I think I lasted about twenty minutes and just <laughs> switched it off yeah, and yeah. got distracted and never went back. Yeah. Well, this of the three films I've seen of his, this is clearly the best one. Yeah. For and me. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't. I'm not too sure. I think it probably isn't class. It's probably social standing, mm. where you fit within, and that. I guess uh, for I understand, you know, Korea is very. Where you sit in the place, not so much. Ah, oh, okay. I think, mm. yeah. I mean, maybe this class, but I don't know the mm. full structure of exactly how this. But it is a very high pressure. Yeah, bit, bit like Japan in this respect. Yeah, maybe? Okay. probably a bit like Japan succeed. I know they've had apparently a series of very high profile suicides mm. of um, big stars, music stars, and all mm, that right. because mm-hmm. because they either don't quite believe they've succeeded, so that pushed ah. the success. Huh. And so, yeah, I think well, it is. Uh, well, that's climbing the ladder, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. And that's what these people, this family are. So, which why I think it's probably a bit do. more social than necessary class, where class kind of but, does slightly mm. push you're born into it, you're there, where this, mm. there is mobility, there is an implication of some mobility. Do you, do you think, and I'm, I've prob- probably I've forgotten about, about this bit, but the family, the poor family at the beginning, are they trying to raise their social standing or are they just trying to make ends meet, get a bit of money? None of them are just trying to survive. Yeah. Yeah, I got that sense from it. It's a yeah. strong sense of survival. And I think one thing the director's done really well here is maybe helping you to fall in love with that family at a really early point yeah. in the film. Like it doesn't take long, uh, you know, a few scenes for you to start to really, from, in my case anyway, I was really feeling for the family quite early into the piece. Yeah. Before it started to get a little bit ridiculous. And that's when I think, you know, I love the film, but yeah, some of those the parts with the some of the violence and just the mm. the well the ridiculous the storyline mm. really. yeah yeah it was fun mm-hmm. but um but it's sort of that were my less favorite parts of the yeah, film yeah i suppose it's important to be on the side of the poor family but do do you think they totally polarized i, I kind of like some of the people in the, no, the rich family no you continue well. to love yeah. them yeah you continue but, but to... i mean the other family the, oh, the other family too you kind of understand mm. them. Yeah. You didn't hate them? No. Yeah, okay. No, they weren't. The, the, mother, the mother particularly was wasn't a, portrayed as, a, you know, the demon. The father a little bit. Yeah, later on when he showed his true colours about the smell and all that sort of stuff. But like I said, that's mm. back to the smell, back to water. Mm. I don't think it's so much the story of water. What's this water thing? Where's the water? The oh, rain. That's what I okay, there was rain, there was a flood. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't want to ask about, about this. What about before that, mm. though? Yeah. Um, well, when they're... When they're getting rid of the guy who's always releasing his water <laughs> outside their house, yeah. and they go and you think they're going to go and smash him with some something, but he takes a bucket of water out, and then they, they're both wetting this dude. And it's a you remember that really kind of yeah, balletic yeah, yes, sequence. Yes, yep. And um, I just wondered what, and that that deluge. Yes. When they're running, which is a great sequence, and they're running from they finally escape the house, yep. three of them, and they run down. The stairs, it's getting wetter and wetter, the rain's pissing down. And they get to their neighborhood and it's it's flooded. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. Well, this is sewage water. And then yeah. she, and to top it off, she goes inside to get a durry and oh, your favorite sits, sits, sits it was a the, good scene. It sits it on the shit spewing toilet. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. So and of course they're after the deluge, they're all in a almost refugee sort of situation. Hi, you know, remember that? They're in the yeah, um yeah, in yeah. the gym. So yeah, yeah, go on. Because of the water. But so what's this water mean? What, well, what are you? Well, it's just it's been a storm. <laughs> but it's been a storm it's, which caused the it. flood. I'm, I'm not sure about the water thing. If it's that important, you know, it could have been another device. Uh, yeah, it's there, but mm, I think just it is. A, okay, mm, yeah. Go on, Merv. I, I did a bit of a little research into uh, the issues of smell in in Seoul and all that. Okay. And there is. There have been complaints about the sewage system ah. and the stench of it. And there is even um, comments. And unfortunately, the main ones I read were kind of Westerners who visit, but they okay. are talking about it, where um, a couple of subway lines are known for being particularly stinky subway lines. Uh-huh. And there's government initiatives about trying to make some of these upgrade and renew and um, fix up the, su- the um, sewage systems okay. and to fix the smell. Hmm, okay, and that's but why... that it... says to me, smell, that that's... Yeah, well, that's Water's linked with there. the sewage. Water is there, but I don't... <laughs> I, we're just... 
but mm. up in the good areas, okay, where they probably do have a decent sewage system and drainage system, yeah. Oh, isn't the water lovely? But down where they just haven't spent the money, mm. well, of course, the big rain, yeah, it causes the problem. Notice so, also they're always running down steps to get home. Mm. Down, 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 like down. water. Down. <laughs> water travels down steps if you let a bucket out it at the top. It does. It does. Um, I, don't, I mean, I think there's something else to it. Why would they go and wet this dude who's pissing against their window? Why not just? Well, because they they're not the type of people that are going to crack him over the head with with a rock. Not sure. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> sure about this. Yeah. Okay, so you don't, you're not happy with the water angle? No, it's you're, not that I'm not happy. With, well, I just think you're wasting your time a little I'm, bit if we're talking about water. <laughs> I'm right, not sure how, that's going to go anywhere. Bear with me then. <laughs> okay. Um, the lucky stone. Yeah, yeah, the lucky stone. Where's this music coming from? Is it just downstairs? Ah, uh, yeah, we've just got a bit oh, of back, oh, okay. background music um, today. The lucky stone. Come on. Uh what does it? You're asking. What does it symbolise? Yeah. What are we? What's the? What's Wasn't the meaning a, of this? It a wealth. Yeah. It was a wealth well, stone. It was something like br- that. Bring wealth and okay. and it did. And for a while there, yeah. they had money coming to the family. So the, the the fact that it was used as a kind of weapon, well, a weapon later on, and that probably mm. broke the spell and that led yeah, to their yeah, downfall. Sure. Wow, this is that's yeah. really loud in the background. Isn't isn't it? It? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually we... getting a new door for, the, for this right, okay. room, and it's going to be thicker. It does float up and, here. Oh, yeah. so it's good background music. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, oh, another one. Here we go. Um, the the fact that there is there's quite a lot of subterranean action going on here. They we start the the film in this great little sub basement that they live in with <laughs> this with this cool window, and. Um, and then, of course, can we talk about this thing about halfway through the film? Mm. There's yeah, well, a mm. well. This is where the moment the the whole film pivots on this, point, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you set up so we have to talk about it, don't we? Yeah, yeah, but I guess to lead up, you know, why? So the son gets a job. Yep. Basically, being a tutor mm-hmm. for this wealthy family's daughter. Bit of subtraction gets his sister involved. Bit more, they get rid of the the driver, get their father, and then they get rid of the housekeeper. Yeah. And they get the mother in. To mm-hmm. be. So they're all in there earning money, yep. you know. And then there's the yeah. knock at the door. <laughs> yes, mm. yeah. The ex-maid, is it, or housekeeper? Yeah. ex-housekeeper. She, she wants to come in and sort something out. So we see her opening a door to the dungeon. Well, yeah, like suddenly, that basement. suddenly in go. this film, this... Well, a delightful film that's been going <laughs> yes. on for a good hour. Yeah, yeah. Not uh, a horror suddenly, film. Suddenly... Mm. There's a fucking dungeon that's, in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a bunker. Maybe, not a dungeon. Yeah, okay, it's a bunker. It is, but it is. It <clears throat> becomes a bit of a dungeon at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, I, you know, there's probably some water down there too. But there was. There yeah, was an there actual was a toilet. toilet down yeah, there. there's a yeah. toilet down yeah. there. Um, uh, so, yeah, the whole film changes at that point. But, I, yeah, that was – I definitely – my heart was pumping because you, you didn't know when what you, was coming. When you saw that, that sort of fake uh, – what is it, cabinet swing mm. roll back and this, this – mm dungeon uh, bunker door open yeah i think a lot of people sat up in their seats then oh what's happening mm. here what's going on here mm. i didn't see that i'm just you know imagining that mm. and then it leaves people like us i think well people like me maybe not you guys but thinking oh, is this just what they do in korean films oh that's another is thing this, i was going to ask is this yeah. just a uh, is this how the rest of the world makes cinema <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it was a very different film to the last Korean film I seen was Burn, yeah, which was uh, on earlier this year okay. at um, UWA. Very, very different movies, but also still about the social structure of Korea. Okay, where that one was about, um, yeah, a guy kind of mm. falls in love with a girl, but she kind of falls in love with a rich dude, and okay, oh, yeah, because um, yeah. yeah, okay. <clears throat> Obviously, these people down in the bunker. The, mm. Um, well, there's only one dude. You know, down they're there, right? the lowest on the so- social. Yeah, you know, yeah. they're the most mm. far <clears throat> underground. The, ah. the the other the main family is sort of half underground. They've got that window, Hence which the, is kind of yeah. at foot level, the sub basement, and yeah. then you have to walk up the hill to get to the other people's house. That's, don't that, you? that's pretty straightforward when you think about it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The structures are like that. Um, yeah, it, that's when it gets a little bit bloody. The character downstairs, the husband of the old maid, old maid of the ex yeah. housekeeper. Was a, a little bit confusing for me. Like he was being chased by debt um, collectors. Debt collectors, right? Yeah. So they had to keep him down there for years. Was it a few years? Sounded like it. Yeah, been there for he, a couple yeah. of years. Right. 
And he was he would sometimes tap Morse I mean, code. He's obviously, uh, you know, one thing I found really funny and nice in this film is yeah. everything's a metaphor. And, <laughs> but the uh, well, there's water. The, the character, what was the the young, the teenage guy's character? He's always yeah. saying that, you know, that's a great metaphor. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And yeah. got me thinking about the the translation and the Korean, and you know. Ah, how okay. how we might be perceiving mm. a lot of these differently, you know, is the Korean term for metaphor slightly different in some way, but ah, it, okay. that was something that really made me laugh along with there was one other piece that was um, where the dad was driving people and he was talking about the other fancy services. Mm. They are veteran grade. Oh, yeah. They're veteran grade yeah, services. Yeah, right. And I was like, veteran grade yeah. like is this something i know what that means instinctually yeah but i don't know if that's mm. something we use in the west no. at all yeah and to is describe that a, very good yeah service is that just a a straight translation or is that what the translator figures is the best possible punt on it I suppose? probably yeah well in terms and in terms of the name of the film mm. I, again paris parasite i think is more about as much of a straight Translation as you right, could but get who's from the, Korean? But who, who's the parasite in this film? Who are the parasites? I think it is the the poor family. I mean, they're feeding off the host, which is the host. Yeah, fa- the, as the rich much family. as mm. yeah, the film is still slightly referential to the wealthy family, and even they are still though they they're there to um they're there to kind of you know. Rip them off a little bit, yeah. But there are no intentions of actually really screwing over them, right? It's we've got these jobs, we've got some money, we'll take a little bit of advantage. But there's no, how do we get it? You know, this is ours. Mm. And even then, yeah. that scene when the bloke is down in the the bunker, yeah. When because whenever that scene, you know, whenever you saw the father come up from the garage, the mm-hmm. lights would come on as he steps up. Right. And he's like, oh, yeah, a bit of funky, you know, motion sensor detector. That's all very nice. Uh-huh. But no, it's him. Yeah. Putting the lights <laughs> on for this guy. So even this guy down the bunker is still he's referential yeah. to this family. Right. And okay. Yeah, and they do say, why would you want to? Why would you want to hurt these? Lovely people. They're 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 a great family. You know, they they are kind of. Who says that? Uh, I think the mother mm. at one stage says this to the the old housekeeper. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they mm. say they're not too bad. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I and they're, yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not. But I think they are the parasite in the. That's what the director's trying to say. I think. I, don't you reckon? Who the poor family the, or the, the, rich, the, the rich family? He wants the us to. All, uh, the, sorry, mm, go on. The statement that I think is being made is that. In order to reach that next level mm. up uh, above mm-hmm. where you are now, to become part of the, it's always done with violence. Uh, it has to be yeah, done okay. with violence at the end because everything they try, they're, they're, you know, on the face of it, this is probably the most clever family in the universe. Right? <laughs> yes. No other family can pull their shit together and get into mm, this other yeah. family's life and mm-hmm. fix their situation as cleverly and amazingly as they have. Yeah. Yet in the end, it still comes down to violence, which is where I thought, oh, maybe that's, maybe th- that's just this director's trip that he's made made all these movies about mm. that have this violent undertone before. Mm. I can really only compare it to Snowpiercer and how mm. this this goes along to a point, and I just start to, I think it starts to feel a bit shaky. Mm. Some of the violence in this film, but the violence fails. Mm. Yeah, because well, they, get, they get arrested finally. I mean, the two of them. Ultimately, you'd say that it succeeds ultimately because no, they but end But that, that, that was not – that ending was a dream sequence. Oh, was yeah. it? Maybe yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I might have missed that. Yeah, yes. that was a quite really? a sad ending. Yeah, yeah that well, didn't happen. On. He's like – Oh, maybe, that's right. He wakes up again. He's maybe just one imagining. Day. Maybe one day. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll try oh, this one. Really yeah, we've spoilt it now. Well, <laughs> it's not a dream. It's an imaginary – ending anyway. Mm. It's Until, right in the yeah. letter of what he intends. Mm-hmm. It's, his it's, intent, like the, it's like the end of Atonement, but a bit off. Oh, sp- yeah, yeah. Spoil yeah. another film. Well, <laughs> maybe that's where A Week After is not the best time yeah, to do yeah. a podcast. But no, but yeah. That, uh, yeah. I, I think he's trying to say that the, 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 the way that the rich family are not, sort of unintentionally, you know, keeping the poor family down, mm. making, think, making comments like, yeah, I, they get very close to crossing the line, but they don't actually cross it. I, I appreciate that, this kind of shit. And, and can't you smell them? They just all yeah. people who ride mm. the subways always have a special smell. And I don't know, it's very yeah, degrading. And I think that's showing there the parasite on society. That's 
There's what I read of, anyway. There's a sense of hopelessness to it all mm. as well. Yeah, so yep. looking at South Korea, what I gather is going through 10-year high unemployment of something like 4.5%. So mm. it's because mm. he makes that comment about, you know, all these university graduates. Right. I, I don't think it's quite where you're going there. Mm. Um, I think it's probably more a comment maybe about the pressures of this Korean society. I think there's a lot we missed. Right, right. right. <clears throat> you know, yeah. Yeah. Because and, of yeah. the translation? You... Translation, not living there. Mm. You know, yeah. we... Yeah. I think the I'm, director did mention this before, Khan, that he was worried it was too Korean yeah, for I people to Yeah, I think there get. is a lot of yeah. real Korean mm. sensibilities mm. in there. I mean, the target yeah. audience, I think, is really Korean. Where it is a nation, yeah, it's about success and it's about politeness and it's about... Um, I think... Do you remember? I think we were watching... Some South Korea match, and then yeah, goes the yeah. players. It goes, you know, they never remonstrate with the referee because they're just too polite. Yeah. So it's yeah, about right. you know, um, right? You know, knowing your place, your mm. elders, the veterans, yeah, yeah. which yeah. might be more, um, you know, kind of that elder thing. Well, so a, yeah, a statement on the elder yeah. generation, isn't it? So hmm. yeah, I think it is wisdom. I know. Yeah, I think the family are the parasites. But yeah, yeah. I, I still think it's the rich family. I mean, the, the, clearly the poor family are trying to get attach themselves to yeah. the host family, as it were. But maybe he's saying, oh, "Well, have a look, have a look a little bit deeper." Maybe yeah, those... I think there is an issue of empathy. Yeah, that as you rise up, you lose that empathy mm. for those below. I yeah, think yeah. that's more. I got the impression from. Yeah, sure. You know, they're in their own little bubble. Yeah. They're yeah. in their own little world where everything's nice and all their own friends and it's – you mm. know, when the son kind of goes, can you ever see me this um, – oh, yeah. recently mentioned the weird, <clears throat> creepy – him and his the daughter. Him and his sister? You no, mean, no. What? The daughter of the rich family who's oh, trying to crack on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, and he goes, can you – and she goes, yeah, sure. Right, because she's not grown up enough yet maybe yeah. to say, no, you, you don't belong here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's a good point. And, yeah. you know, they invite them on and involve them, but they then say, well, actually, no, you're an employee, you know, when he's trying to get them to dress up and... and yes, that's right. This is your job. Cake. Yeah, yeah. Think of it as a, as a day's work. Yeah. yeah. I like that little yeah. metaphor yeah. I think you brought up in your in your blog, Shady, I, which I happened to read. <laughs> You've read this. Uh, oh, this thank week, you. just a few minutes ago, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, about the ironing and how yeah. rich, rich people are... No, what is it? Uh, rich people are... Money just irons out the creases. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. It's um, it yeah, money's like an iron; it smooths out the the wrinkles. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. The dialogue in this is fairly good. I mean, even the, the some of the stuff at the beginning, like her when she's forging these documents, and mm. they're like, "Wow, I wonder if you can you, is there a degree in forgery at Cambridge? You'd be top of the class." This guy, there's a lot of um, sort of. Uh, good natured ribbing in the in the family. Yeah, I just I thought this was all in all pretty bloody good. Maybe the film of the year for me. Maybe up with there with a couple of others. Us and the favourite. I think yeah. so far. Yeah, I think I'm I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's definitely one of my favourites for the year. Yeah, but I'd watch it from again. The bong. <laughs> hit, hit from the <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Not original that that one. No. Okay, good. all week. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Well. um well, t- next one is probably um, uh, Black 47, which we're going to see pretty soon, right? In a yeah. few minutes. Oh, we should get yeah. going, yeah. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Good thank night. You. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.